this thing growing inside me. I've been fighting it for six hard years. Dr. Amaral was developing a cure for the Cronon syndrome. She was the only one who could administer the treatments that kept my sickness at bay. Paul? And Jack had taken her away from me. How the fuck did this happen, Morton? How is it possible he managed to take her? Paul, this is your illness talking. I'm on your side. Ugh. Ugh. Easy, you're... They took her. Without Sophia, there's no chance of a cure. We did all we could. But there are forces within Monarch working against you, and I believe Burke was just the tip of the iceberg. It wasn't just Joyce that did this. Uh, sir? Uh, we've recovered Dr. Amaral's laptop. We have it set up over there if you want to take a look. I'll be right there. Oh, it's getting good, guys. It is getting good. All right, let's take a look. Wow, already 100% discovered. Sweet, I didn't even have to do anything. <laughs> Uh-oh, we have got... Probably going to be a big change coming up. I want to go over Sophia's figures. If she's right, the fracture is escalating a lot faster than we anticipated. You know the future. Dr. Emerald doesn't. Is the lifeboat even in a viable state for activation? She's trying to convince you the schedule's wrong. Why? To get you to rush this? To make a mistake? The people opposing you. She could be one of them. She isn't. Are you willing to bet the entire plan on that? I implore you, hold off on activation, Paul. Let me clean house before this gets completely out of hand. I should have been here. Somebody made a false report. Sent me to the tunnels to divert my attention. Like I said, people working against you. Who was that on the radio? We're still working on that. How do you want to proceed? Oh, there's our choices. But before I do that, let me uh, see if there's anything else around here. Yeah, see, there's... I saw the footage of your speech. They tried to get to you. I warned you we were compromised. There are people on the inside who want us to fail. <sighs> Just be glad they're a lousy shot. Yeah. They were. Which should pretty much set it up right there. I mean, if we wanted to... If we, as in Jack, wanted to kill... Uh... Martin. I mean... He could have done it without anyone even knowing anything. So, he, Paul should not believe that it would have been Jack. That's just too obvious. Alright, well let's see what uh, decisions that we have to make here and then we'll watch the live episode. Somebody was working against me. Somebody close. Martin Hatch. Sophia Amaral. I could only trust one of them. Uh, we'll show Hatch first. All right, Amaral. Let's go fix the time machine. I said I'll try. Evidence was mounting against Sophia. I couldn't simply ignore it, despite everything we had been through. But she knew you'd never make it without those treatments. And then she took them away. If she turned against me with what she knew, the damage could be immeasurable. Serene chooses to trust Hatch and suspects Sophia. I want him apprehended. Immediately. So I have some information about Martin Hatch. Martin had been my closest advisor for years. I began to wonder if that had been a mistake. Sophia's loyal. She's always been loyal. 
don't think we can trust her. The way she looked at the countermeasure like she's seen it before. She knows what it does. Sophia's research had saved my life. Loyalty doesn't run any deeper. This is kind of weird because it changes, not only does it change things here, but it changes things with Jack. Um, we already know that Hatch is a traitor. So I feel like that's what everyone's going to pick because you already know he is a traitor. He set everything up to make it look like someone was going to kill him. So because of that instinct alone, we're going to go with uh, a Meryl. Uh, I think that's probably a choice that a lot of people are going to go with, but I'm very interested to see the other side of it. So without further ado, Serene chooses to trust Sophia and suspects Hatch is a traitor. Sophia's date has always been good. I'll trust her judgment. We need to analyze these figures and make final preparations to activate the lifeboat protocol at once. Fine. I'll take the laptop to the science department. No, I think I'll do that myself. I see. Sir? Put people on Mr. Hatch. I want constant eyes on him. Yes, sir. You got it. We pulled some images from the security cameras. We've identified Joyce's accomplice. She's Beth Wilder, one of our mid-level operatives. Her. My God, she's been with us all along. She's working with Jack. Where is she now? Unknown. But we've got a kill team tracking her. No, 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 no. She can't be killed. Not yet. Find her. And whatever Mr. Hatch does, I want to know about it. Don't screw this up. Beth Wilder. It was the first time I'd heard her name. But she had been there, in the past. When it all started... She had been there the whole time, working against me from the inside. And she wasn't the only one. Man, this is getting so good. All right, looks like 65% of the community agreed. I guess everyone else just chose the other one just to be different and try something else and different. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully you enjoy the live action episode. Sorry if it cuts off. There's no changing the inevitable. Time is just one closed loop, and no matter what I do, time ends. something in there that I need. The lifeboat protocol. What is it that you're so threatened by, Martin? Do I look threatened to you? This is Dr. Amaral's report. The stutters, they're, they're increasing in frequency. What is that? A chronon disrupted life form. Extremely hostile. It's Dr. Kim. Let's go! Let's go! Hatch. Is 
And what did Burke want with it? Well, I don't know. I don't even know what the lifeboat protocol is. It's a sanctuary designed to shelter a list of monarchs essential personnel to weather the storm until they can develop a solution. Essential personnel. So that means that I'd be on that list, right? Not under Paul Serene's lead, you wouldn't. He's failed to see the value in his own people, too consumed with grand ideals and delusions. You know what I find to be the most terrifying notion of this planet? The idea of God. Simply the idea. A being with that much power. The ability to take and give so freely. That kind of control. But should be feared, not worshipped. Yet, people believe in it just as people believe in Paul Serene. You see, what's so scary about God isn't his control, but rather, if he ever lost it, Paul Serene's become unhinged, Charlie. He's triggered a catastrophe. He has the chance to fix it, but he's choosing not to. He's choosing to let things end. In the end of time. And this is where we come in. We risk too much leaving the keys to the kingdom in one man's hands. We need insurance. There's something called the CFR. It's a crucial key to our survival and must remain safe. But as long as Paul is the only one with access to it, it isn't. With access to the CFR, I would take over. Get Monarch back on track, and once I do, restructuring would be in order, Charlie. Restructuring that would see you as my right hand. I'd be on the list. Absolutely. Then I need to go back to Monarch. And that sort of privilege isolation it can only be done from the inside. Put the island on lockdown, but the pump house on the west side has an old supply tunnel that runs beneath the bay. No one knows about it. You'll go unseen. Time is of the essence, Charlie. You better get to it. Yeah. Commander Davis. Yes, sir. Head to the perimeter lab. We're moving forward. The frequency of the stutters is still unpredictable, but they're persistent. Erratic, but persistent. I need certainty. If I initiate the protocol, there's no going back. Mr. Serene, something like this. There is no certainty. We've never dealt with it before. How long? We've been running Dr. Amaral's simulations. It's hard to say without her to confirm, but... Just give me a time. The Joyce Phil could collapse within eight hours. <sighs> Mr. Serene, if you're going to proceed, now would be the time to decide. <laughs> Charlie. Fiona. Hey, bud. 
Where are you going? You're right. Time's ending, just like you said. And the lifeboat protocol, it's a place. They built it to protect people from the fracture. And the only problem is, is, is there's a list and anyone who's not on it is, is pretty much fucked. But if we make it back to the mainland, I, I can get us on the list. All of this us. entire island is on lockdown. How are we going to do that, Charlie? There's a tunnel. Hey, all right, if you are lying to me this time, I swear to God. No, get off! I'm tired of shit. I don't know why you're doing this. But I don't have to put your name on shit, motherfucker. What'd you do to him? He's fine. I'm gonna tell you why you're gonna put me on that list. I got a pregnant wife at home. And she's the only thing that I am thinking about right now. So if you get in the way of me protecting her, I swear to fucking God, next time, you will not catch your breath. Lead the way. Come to free you, my friend. This imprisonment, it's unsettling. It's time for you to rejoin the others, to return to the infinite.
Okay? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm good. We need to get... get on the fucking ground! Hey, ground! No, 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 we're with Monarch! What don't you hey, understand? No, get on the ground! Hey, no, hey, no, no, no. Hey, I'm the one that called it in. I'm Hatch's guy. One guy. Yeah. Who's she? She's Cronon scientist. She's important. We have to get her back to Monarch right away. Please. Get the fuck out of here. Now! Yeah. Gibson, I got Burr. Fiona! 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 You gotta listen! Hey! Ah. Oh, shit! You killed him! Fuck! Hey! I didn't know that they were gonna kill him. What was I supposed to do? Huh? You let me on and then you kidnapped me. This isn't me. about you, Charlie. Are you stealing this car? Just get the fuck out of here. No, you're gonna need me. I got what I needed out of you. Yeah, I'm getting used to it. Why don't you open your eyes? The world is about to end. I'm trying to do something. Yeah, you're a real hero. Fuck you. Huh? I'll see you there. Burke, you fuck. <sighs> you know, I'm really gonna enjoy killing your wife. Commander Davis? Davis and his team. They're all good men. Monarch's finest. Paul, what about my treatments? I'm afraid so. You know what this means. You don't know for sure. I'm a dead man! You let this happen! Jack, he wants me to become you. He wants me to suffer until the end. Joyce and Wilder. But what was troubling me is who got them in the Kim's lab. She paid a visit while she was thought to be missing, minutes before the explosion. Paul. Paul, will you... Paul, will you listen to me? Look, it's time you see her for who she really is. 
This was a part of gift. They forced her. She's trying to destroy you. She's boy. trying to help me. Oh, Jesus, but look at you. The smartest man I know. Blinded by a fool's love. Oh, what are you planning on? Sophia's loyal. She's gotten inside your head. She's always been loyal. You need to think about if this. If the fracture's happening now, I owe this to her. I need to wake my family. I'm afraid we have no time. Hey, pal. I'm glad you could make it. I was just telling your girl here how concerned about you we've been. Emily, we need to go. Go? What's the rush? Ah! <laughs> 
Emily, give me the keys. Give me the keys. Get away from me. Get away. Emily, listen. No. Listen, please. Please, please. No. This is not who I am. This is not. I'm telling you, I never felt good doing this. I, I never, I never felt good doing this. But it's the only thing I knew how to do. And when I got back, I couldn't, I couldn't find anything. I couldn't find anything to do. And Monarch, they found that useful, and they put me to work. And I swear to God, I couldn't, I couldn't stand, I couldn't stand being alone. And so, so every Tuesdays and Wednesdays, I would, I would walk down the street because it was the only two nights at the bartender. And she wasn't at school. And I told myself every night to ask you about it. It took me a fucking year. Emily, if Monarch, if they gave me structure, you gave me purpose. I did this to protect you. I did this to protect us, our family. I did this to protect our family. And Emily, you have to listen to me. Something terrible is coming, and I will explain to you on the way, but we have to move. We have to move right now. If you will just let me, if you will just let me protect you one last time. It's Pierce. I'm at the perimeter lab. Sir, I have some information about Martin Hatch. I want him apprehended. Immediately. 